that's a big snake. Oh, there's a snake in the swamp? No, I'm talking about your penis. Well, I called her, and they all seem a lot better than her based on the brief conversations I had with them. Is there no one in here? Yeah, hey, Robin. You were awesome last night. You were charming, you were funny, you were totally working that girl. You went home with her. Yes, I did. It's just bad camera work, okay? Wayne, our camera guy, he wasn't that great. I don't know. I think he did a pretty good job, considering he was probably only using one hand. <laughs> I should call her. No, no, Ted, please. If you call her when she asks you not to, you're just going to look weak, and you're going to regret it. Now, listen, whenever you feel like calling her, you come find me first, and I will punch you in the face. Oh, man, I am so excited that you're here. It has been forever since I have been around anyone even remotely fun. <laughs> uh, yes, offense. Look, Lily, out of court settlement. Drop this whole thing, and I'll give you 10 bucks. No. I can't go higher than 10. Let's get out of here, guys. Oh, Mr. Mosby, you built a mo This woman is mad at you because you lied to her, so your solution is to pretend you broke your leg? <sighs> You're right. A neck brace. Thanks, Lil. Man, I wish I'd talked to you sooner. I've been practicing with these crutches all day, and whoever left them in my lobby probably really needs them. Lamb here is supposed to be great. Oh, I'm a vegan. I wish I could tune out that moral voice inside me that says eating animals is murder. But I guess I'm just not as strong as you are. That's because you need protein. I'll have the lamb. This is her! She wrote the book! Huh, her name must be Anita. Okay, my plan was to sleep with her. But this changes everything. New plan. I'm going to sleep with her. You are so screwed. What, what are you talking about? And why is that girl checking you out? Because I look good. I believe you and I met for a reason. It's like the universe was saying, hey, Barney, there's this dude, he's pretty cool, but it's your job to make him awesome. <laughs> Fine. You want to be a chain of screaming? It's a chain of screaming. I came up with a circle idea halfway through because I thought it was a more elegant metaphor, but fine, ruin it. You guys always undermine me when I'm trying to make a point and I'm sick of it. God, I'm surrounded by idiots. Idiots. Have a good party. <laughs> you too, kiddo. What am I supposed to do? You gotta mark your territory, and I don't mean missing the toilet. See that little hottie on the end? She's short, but has an ample bosom. I love it. She's like half boob. Ted, your problem is all you do is think, think, think. I'm teaching you how to do, do, do. Do, do. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Who is she? I have no idea. Nice. Oh, God. Gael, are you a properly licensed massage therapist? I trained for three years at an institute in Buenos Aires. I have a card. I can show you. Is the card laminated? What do you mean laminated? It's covered in protective plastic. Oh, yes. Damn it. He checks out. Oh, sweet. Can I get a toot? Against car rules. This is against car rules. Oh, Ted, relax. It's Cuban. People pay to have their cars smell like this. Well, that's just not true. I don't have any other options. Well, there's always that teaching job. Yeah, I didn't work this hard to be stuck in some crappy dead-end teaching job. No offense, Lily. I got peed on three times today. No arguments here. <laughs> it just got off the bus from Iowa. Just got off the bus from Iowa. <laughs> How lucky is it that an aspiring dancer just off the bus from Iowa runs into the producer of the Rockettes? Have you chosen your entree? I have. A sweet brunette, 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, 10, 30, she's walking to the bar. Her? Really? Yeah. No, you're right. Ambition is the enemy of success. Yeah, and say what? What's, what's our big opening line? Uh, it was, uh, Daddy's home. Daddy's home? Yeah. Okay, you, you want us to go over there right now and say to those girls, Daddy's home. Really think about that, Barney. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid. So I'm working on this report called Using 23B3 Spurious Class Action Precedent to contest a class certification order based on lack of commonality and numerosity. Dude, you lost us. Can you just call it something cool, like the Ninja Report? Okay. Yeah, fine, whatever. Um, so I'm supposed to turn in the Ninja Report yesterday. Oh, oh awesome. Cool. Maybe I can help. Marshall, you're no Lily. Lily is a diabolical puppet master, subtly manipulating every situation to get exactly what she wants. She's pure evil, Marshall. You got a good one there. Hang on to her. Uh, and not just any girl. I mean, <sighs> it'll destroy him. OK, uh, well, first of all, eh. Bad idea, jeans. No, no, it's a great idea. That's the whole point of getting drunk. You do things you'd never do in a million years if you were sober. Says every girl you've ever slept with. So <laughs> what? For God's sakes, please, give me one piece of useful advice. Lily, control your woman. That's ridiculous. Just because he's a little sleepy and he hasn't had sex with anyone in a bathroom stall 
Huh. He hasn't had sex with anyone in a bathroom stall. I mean, sure. Barney has slept with plenty of other people's mothers. But now there's a huge spike in interest coming. And this isn't just some dead cat bounce. This is big, sustainable growth over the long term. You're a big, sustainable growth. Let's meet the girls. Jessica's a Rhodes Scholar. She's traveled all over the world, speaks four languages, is a concert pianist. And Claire reached for the check. So I don't know. It's a squeaker. So red indicates level of attractiveness. Blue, intellectual stimulation. Green, emotional connection. Yellow, compatibility of life goals. And purple, whether or not she reached for the check. I just got invited to the Architects Ball, the annual gala that honors the city's greatest architects. Oh, no, you guys see why this sucks, right? Because it's an annual gala honoring the city's greatest architects. Ted, left to right. Yes, yes, great idea. Let the fates decide, huh? I will pick left. Just call one of them. One day we're in love, the next day he's dead to me. <laughs> but we're great. Honey? Mm, I bet he never goes to sleep. Mm. Uh-oh. Already? Uh, is Marshall OK? Yeah, he's here and he's great. Uh, here, look. Marshall, tell Ted that. Uh-oh. Already? <laughs> Ted, this is New York City. You're never going to drive it. This is a really, really stupid purchase, and, and I'm sorry, but none of us can support it. Shotgun for eternity! You can't call shotgun for eternity. I just called it. You can't just call things, Barney. I call that I can call things. No. This is me yelling at you, Barney. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of a butterfly landing on a leaf about three blocks away. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Ted. You hungry? What's the point? I could eat some food. It's just gonna leave me. <laughs> well, at least in that scenario, you get to do the dumping. Tonight, we're gonna get you someone way hotter than Robin. Okay, Robin's a 10, fine, we'll get you a 12. Or, you know, two sixes. <laughs> Failing that, four threes. And, break glass in case of emergency, we'll go to Staten Island, I'll get you 12 ones. Marshall, last week, you were trash that no one wanted to look at. Now you're a sports guy. I was trash? Last week. I stabbed my fiance. Come on, Marshall. You really think she's still your fiance? <laughs> You ever gonna tell her how you feel? No. Maybe. Never. I don't know. Look, I just need... Look, it would not be smart if we got together. I, I mean, I'm looking to settle down. She's looking for all... Well, you done? Great. Check out table number four. So man was a little boy. Is boy the right word? I felt absolutely powerless. Flaccid. Hell, I, I felt castrated. God, you're hot right now. You just checked out Robin's ass. What? No, I don't, no, Barney, I was... Dude, that's awesome. You're finally forgetting about that short redhead. Lily. Yes, Lily. Thank you. That was going to drive me crazy all night. You and I are both attracted to each other. We're young, we're drunk, half of us anyway, and we only get one life. Barney, I've never been screamed at like that in my life. Come on, when's the last time you got screamed at at work? I got screamed at three times today. Once in Korean. $400? I didn't order any of this. Maybe Dear Duff the hooker ordered it. Well, I'm not paying for room service. The hooker ordered. I've been there. She's the greatest woman on the planet. I'm getting off topic. You're an idiot. That's my message. You're an idiot. No. One person storming off isn't enough. Marshall, storm off with me. A charity dinner. Yeah, $2,000 a plate. $1,500, stop rounding up. And it's for third world hunger. Are you gonna put out? What? There's only one reason he's taking her to this dinner, and it's not so little Mutu can get his malaria pills. Oh. You shaved. I did! I liked the beard. I liked it too, but it was getting kind of hot. Maybe in the winter, I'll grow it back out! You're already sick of him, aren't you? He's driving me crazy. <laughs> when PJ had a job, he was sexy. He was guardian of the bathroom key. A hot guy telling you when you can and can't pee. That's the dream. So I go in this morning and burr, it's freezing. So I walk over there and I don't know why I'm still talking because clearly we're all asking the same question. What in God's creation is going on with Robin's breasts? <gasps> I know, right? I'm, wait for it, in, wait for it, love, wait for it, with, wait for it, a, wait for it. I know that you're in love with Robin. What? Ooh, that must be Adam. Sup, Punchy? Sup, Schmozby? You want to go? I'm already there! Come on! Listen to it. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on.
Dude, seriously. Sorry about your dad. Yeah, it was a real shock. I th think that sandwich was laced with other stuff. Like hard meats. What do you mean? We, usually after a sandwich, I feel paranoid, but I'm not. Why am I not feeling paranoid? Our last stop is an after hours club, so after hours it's three days from now. What up? But it seems each time I read James Joyce's Ulysses, it's a different book. Begging the question, has the book changed? Or have I? Do you want to go on a date? He asked you out? Oh, step into my web, Simon. The coup de gras. Finish him. I'd love to. Oh. Did this mean anything? Of course it did. Of of course it didn't. Which one are you looking for? I could see it going either way. It meant nothing. It meant nothing. How did you say it meant nothing? Of course it meant something. No, it didn't. It... A bar where no one's overcharged, where everyone feels valued and respected. A bar where we get chicks drunk and bang them. From this moment on, I will spend every waking minute searching down this tape. I will not sleep, I will not eat. My life will be a living hell of search engines and overseas phone calls chasing down something that possibly can't be found. Okay. <laughs> but now, come on, Pacow, you're the most awesome person I have ever known. Well, second most awesome. Right, of course, the, the first being you. No, no, the first is this guy who lives in a place called The Mirror. <laughs> what up? Hey, how's Marshall doing? He's great. He's about to get his haircut. Oh, I'm worried my cousin's gonna cut it too short. Me too. I was up all night. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna marry Bernie in a big church wedding. And we're gonna move to some sleepy New Hampshire town and open a bed and breakfast. Oh, oh really? No! Oh, we spent the whole summer madly in love. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, did he have a car? <laughs> You're not going to that show tonight. Oh, yes, I am. And you know what else? Tonight, after the show, Simon and I are going all the way. <gasps> Young Lady, get back here! Thanks for your help. Hey, so today at work... Not now, Ted! ...could perform the ceremony. But you hate marriage. Why do you want to perform the ceremony? Because it subtly implants in the mind of every woman there that when I ask a question, you say I do. God, if you help me find this sex tape, I am going to make some changes in my life. I am going to devote my entire life to doing good deeds and praising your name. Is this what you're looking for, Mr. Barney? <sighs> Never mind, bro. Found it. Uh, has it ever occurred to you to give some of this to charity? Charity? You're seriously talking to me about charity, dude? I am Mr. Charity. I frequently sleep with sixes, chubsters, over 30s. I am the Bill and Melinda Gates of the Sympathy Bank. Well, monkeys are mugging people now. It really is a jungle out there. <gasps> oh, my God, that monkey has our address. What if he's in a gang? I hope he doesn't do a swing by. <laughs> Looks like that bee got busy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that French maid didn't turn down somebody's bed. Uh oh Looks like uh, Pocahontas has a couple of wounded knees. Oh, hey, quick question. Is it weird to get married in a suit that you may have worn while banging a female rodeo clown? <laughs> I know what you're wondering. Yes, the carpet matched the drapes. Barney, this says $4,000. I thought you said that it was one third price. Yeah, must be a $12,000 suit. Oh, well, guess you'll have to come work at my company. <laughs> you, you set this up. You set this whole thing up. I most certainly did. Oh, excellent. We'll take this yes. one. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, it's my suit. Shouldn't I be the one to choose? <laughs> Here, play with this pin cushion. Oh, hey, Randy, uh, you want a beer? Oh, no, thank you. I brew my own. At the risk of bragging, my hazelnut pilsner won fourth prize of the Weehawken Retirement Home Clam Bake and Wheelchair Maintenance Picnic. I wouldn't consider any part of that bragging. I had my boy Timmy G make the perfect wedding suit. You ever heard of Bespoke? This suit was B-freaking screamed. But then I tried it on this morning and it was uncomfortable and itchy and completely wrong. It was like a suit made for someone with terrible posture, no taste, and limited funds. Here, he take it. Never marry anyone you've had a farting contest with. Oh, great. So now you're saying Lily and I shouldn't even get married? A tailor, Barney. I make negative $300 a week, and I need every <laughs> negative penny of that for my wedding. Lisa, wait. Yes, Neil? Oh, you're Lisa? Sarah, wait. It may come as a shock to you, Barney, but people don't like to be lied to. Wrong. They don't like finding out they've been lied to, because a lie is just a great story that someone ruined with the truth. Barney Stinson. Like, like Tugboat here. Aw, I bet you he's made some mistakes. You didn't fire Tugboat, did you? No, I got him fixed and he calmed down. Exactly. Kind of. Randy doesn't need to be fired. He needs to be fixed. 
Marshall, we do some pretty bad things around here, but I don't... You think that if we did it... Yep, I was right. I don't want to hear this. And I did a really good job... Please leave. ...that I could turn that into my baby? I think I'm going to throw up. Morning sickness. No. My skin is loose like an elephant. My boobs are perky and plump. I slobber like a confused old dog. I slap my own ass. I slap my own ass. No! No!